Alright, so hey guys and welcome back. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have another haul for you guys and it is very exciting today. So, as you can tell by the title, it is another Killstar haul and I am super excited. So let's get into it. First item of the day that we have is this Aggie suspender skater skirt and I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I just wanted to give you an overview of what it looks like so it's a little bit of a high-low situation but I prefer that because for some reason I feel like it's a bit more modest so I'm going to show you what I mean by suspender skater skirt I also have two shirt options that I wanted to show you how I wear this let me tilt this back up so the first one is this moon shirt it was a dupe that I got off of Aliexpress I'm probably going to be buying this real stuff from Restyle, I believe the company is called. That'll be in a future video though, uh, because as I've learned, I do like dupes, they are cheaper, but I want to try it out against the real thing and, you know, support other businesses. But this is the first item and let me go put the rest together. So for a more subtle look, here is the crosses. I know it's coming up, it's kind of shiny. There we go. So these are the suspenders. There are buttons on the inside. So we're, if I was to wear this skirt with this top, I would probably end up wearing these demonios from one of my last videos that I showed you guys. This is from Forever 21. I'm sorry guys, I'm out of breath. I've been walking around all day. This what my new job has got me doing. Anyhow, so, can you guess what shoes would go with this? My other demonias, as I mentioned. Can you see this outfit kind of like coming together? If I drop these down. Yeah, I can see it coming together. By the way, really quick guys, I just wanted to let you know that I did try sizing down this time with the bottoms. Um, I got all of the bottoms, including the skirt I just showed you, in a size large. So this might be a little bit of an issue. I might have to figure out how to readjust these or, you know, um, just wear them down. These are the Shadow Strip Pants in Pinstripe. And I wanted to leave this on to show you guys. They do wrap up their um, jewelry and decorations on the clothing. I love these. These are from the Cross Your Heart collection, I believe. Yeah, the Aggie Suspender Skirt was from the Cross Your Heart collection, too. Um, yeah. So these are hanging off me a little bit because I do short for this. Um, and you'll be able to tell that by my pants because they literally go down to the bottom of my foot, the top of my foot, whatever you want to call it, by my toes. But if I leave them down, it still looks cool. I like the effect. Of course, I really don't need to use the suspenders to keep them up on me because my pants fit me snugly. This is how I like my pants to fit. And again, I would probably either wear these with the Slacker 88 with black and white or the damned and I believe it's 116. But I also got these in black. Have the front zip, but what I mean by again is the Aggie suspender skirt has that inseam that I talked about in the last video, the invisible seam, if you will, zipper. I hate that with a passion. So that Aggie suspender skirt is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. These are pinch stripe. Might be these zips are literally just for detail. Detail. These do not have pockets, but I expected that when I saw them online. And again, we will go over the black pair. So really quick, I just wanted to point something out as a difference between these and the pinstripe pants. For some reason, these are a lot more stretchy, even though they claim to be made of the same material. I forgot to mention the last time, these are like a PU kind of material along the outlining of the zipper right here, where my fingers are, and the actual belt loops. 
these fit me the way I want them to, but it's just weird. Like, these feel like jagging, but a little bit lighter than jagging material, whereas the pinstripe pants feel a little bit more like the jagging part of jagging, so it feels a little bit more like jeans. If you guys understand what I'm saying, please explain it for those who don't in the uh, comment section down below. So the thing is, these are a little bit more stretchy, which means these are a little bit softer. I also wanted to mention, I'm not going to unzip these all the way, but there is a little button on the inside with a little extra flat button to kind of keep the pants together to keep them from like exploding if you bloat or anything like that. But for some reason, as soon as I zip them up all the way, that button comes undone. They fit, they're not falling off, so that's what counts. These are the Darkland trousers, again in a size large, these are in black. I have one of the like kind of grayish green plaid ones for forever, but they've been sold out. But the suspenders come like separated, but the suspenders come wrapped in paper like this. Anyhow, these are meant to be high-waisted, they come up about, well, I would say they're probably about high-waisted on me, but I love this detail right here. This is the actual suspender part, depending on which way you wear it. If you're below five foot, you can probably get away with it. Maybe five one, five two. I can actually wear these as actual suspenders. This is the main reason why I wanted these pants. This little moon detail. Now, if you guys know, I got the moon child necklace a little while ago. There's actually going to be something that I'm going to show you in a second that I got, not because of specifically because of these pants, but it ties like the whole thing together for me. This is the Trina choker. So you see, moon, moon. By the way, this is a small neckband. I know I've heard my complaints about Killstar's neck being small, but even though this should fit me and be probably a little bit loose, maybe, it may not fit your neck if you've got anything longer than a skinny neck. Boy, was that a little bit of a struggle, but I have it on now. And the reason why is this whole setup is this on the second or third to last nodule. And yep, it is definitely a little bit tight, but it is a comfortable tight. It's not like to the point of choking me. But I found that um, this is a little bit heavy, like you can hear it. It's good quality. But I do would really like the choker, and I like it with these pants. Like, if I had my hair down, this would be a better video. Alright, so moving on, these are the Watch Me Burn leggings, and I'm trying to get it so that way my phone adjusts, so that way you can see the print. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's got like a little Baphomet and a circle with, um, I forget what the name of the writing's called. And I'm probably going to insert a little picture here. Now, these have, again, detachable suspenders with polyester kind of faux leather feeling. Um, where the print is, because it is not actually embroidered, it is actually um, printed on here. But they're very comfortable. Again, everything that I got in this haul, I'm pretty sure, is a large. They actually don't roll up all the way. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but let me turn the camera up here. All of the items that I have, of course, the links will be listed in the description box. So view them, purchase them, whatever you like, or if you want a better overview of these leggings. The link for the Wash Me Burn leggings. So moving on, I have only a couple items left to show you. I have the Bloodbound Skater Dress. I am like obsessed with this. Now, I will say that generally I'm not typically a dress person, but I've been getting more into it just because of comfy clothes and whatnot. Up front, it does button up. 
so I love that. I also love the pointed collar. Yeah, there's cross details that are actually embroidered on the pointed collar, as I would like to call it. Super cute, super comfortable, and again, it buttons up front. I was able to pull it on over my head, but there's really no stretch for your waist, and it is stretchy up here too. But the material itself is like super lightweight, super comfortable, and the sleeves are like kind of short. So they're about half sleeves, I guess you would call them. You can see my tattoo poking out. That's what the color looks like. Oh yeah. I feel like I could like stay in this and let it be a night dress, but it's for daytime, so. I also have an item that I got to go with this and the next dress. So I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. Um, I don't think I'm going to cut this part of the video out. But looking at it this is how it's all wrapped up it is obviously a belt um i will tell you guys what size i got this in in a second so here we are this is what the belt looks like on it just has like pentacles or pentagrams whatever you want to call them they are upside down in circles it's a little chain belt um, this is what it looks like on, and I got it specifically to go with this dress and the next dress, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. But I love how this feels. This is actually very lightweight, despite all the metal that is on here, along with the studs. The same kind of rings, I guess you would call it, that actually hold up the pedigree. Kind of like the collar right here love this and again i'm gonna try this on with the next dress as well i love this outfit all together and yeah that's really all i have to say about that so now i'm going to show you the last few items that i have this is the last dress that i wanted to show you this is called the crossed out dress it has like a uh, little poofies poofies puff shoulders right here i have in the front it has like a little mesh detail i i actually personally like because of the rest of the outfit so down here it has like ruched up sleeves i guess you would call it it's puffed out on the ends and i actually fairly really like this this would be one of those perfect examples of i need somebody to help me because i struggled with this again for like three minutes just my personal opinion everything's fit me thus far i haven't had any issues and this dress is so comfortable that i could literally wear this for like the next i don't know two days let me just go over the rest of this dress with you um it has a little well there you go you can kind of see it there's a little line right here where the waist is it is stretchy again this is a flared out skater dress so it's got a skater skirt it is like perfect length for me to be comfortable wearing without anything underneath of it but knowing me because i'm more conservative i'm probably going to end up throwing on a pair of stockings just for s's and giggles very comfortable again i am obsessed as you can see it looks good with the belt but it looks like from afar guys can you see me, crazy gel coming down the road? Would you think that I am enough wearing this necklace? Is this extra? I feel like this is a little bit extra. But, I love it. I love the concept. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't have gotten it. But, it is all one necklace. It is like... A clasp so there's that but just like look at all these crosses and this dress I feel like if I were to show up at like a church gathering they would think that I was Catholic because of all the cross detail the only thing they probably wouldn't like is the fact that this is not modest it is a mesh pad but I love this right here to be, I feel like myself right now, even though I feel a little bit like I'm dressing up like a nun, and then I feel like I got Pope Francis's necklace on. 
but I just, I, I don't know what it is about this. I love it. I feel like I could have been a mom for Halloween. The only thing I'm missing is the headdress, if you will. But what do you guys think with everything put together? Like, I'm obsessed with everything that I got, but I specifically love this right here. Even if I wore this necklace with that dress, I would totally still feel like me. But, let me try that on for you guys. It came on this, spread out, just like this. Um, and it came with, um, the zip ties. So there we go. Um, to make sure that it was protected during transport, that nothing fell off. And these are rhinestones, of course. They're black encased in a silver necklace. If you wanted to get the, um black with the silver I believe they have that if not I'm lying so just to give you guys kind of a close-up view of what this looks like it then I still like it a lot I think it's just because I need to shorten the chain out a little bit but I like the concept and you got the embroidery right here I still feel like if I'm coming down the road you would think that I'm coming from Catholic school or something the way I'm dressed right now. I also forgot to mention, I'm sure you guys probably saw it already, but this is basically like a sailor collar, sailor's collar. Look guys, I'm obsessed. This totally like fits my aesthetic right here. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below for anything that I got really. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like is I'm so used to wearing like a uh, uniform shirt at work, like it, whether it be a t-shirt or a button-up, that I'm pale up to about here and it looks like I got ombre arms, but I can deal with that. Go out in the sun more, I guess, get a little bit more tan or just let the rest of my body become pale like my soul because I am a night shift worker. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of everything that I've gotten. I am taking that directly from uh, Rachel aka Delia LaFay. I love your videos. Please keep on making them. I don't care what they are. You are just an inspirational person. So I hope to see you do more Killstar hauls maybe eventually in the future because I know that Black Friday is coming up soon. As well as the rest of you subscribers that watch my videos. I really do appreciate the support. I do appreciate the likes because when I see them and see the comments, it really does brighten my day. You guys are a big part of my life, which is why I will continue to do this even though I have the new job. I am trying to work everything out in a sense because YouTube is important to me. I may be one of them small channels, but... You guys are, like, I don't know, inspirational to me. I may be in a down and depressed mood, which I've made videos about all of my past medical history and all that in prior videos, which if you're interested, you can always go back and watch them, and I'll probably link my most recent one about mental health, which if that's triggering, you guys don't have to watch it, but if you guys are interested, I will still link it down below. But again, you guys really do brighten my mood. You guys are the reason why I'm still doing these hauls and making these videos on whatever topics I feel like making because you guys clearly are continuing to watch my crazy self. I mean, I have like 100 subscribers now, which by the way, thank you guys. So obviously maybe I might be making a difference in somebody's life. Who knows? So hey guys, really quick, I'm back for like two seconds. This is editing gel coming on. Um, I forgot to include this choker. It is this, let me get a close up for you guys. Straight up and down crosses. If you guys can kind of see that. There we go, it's a little bit better. Bring this down here. And I love it because it almost looks like spades if you look at it in a certain way. So obviously it is not tightened to the part where I would love to have it tightened to. So it is not tightened to where I would like it to be tightened. Eventually I will get the hang on that. I have a little bit of a sensory issue as well. But I just wanted to come on and show you guys this really quick before moving on to the next part of the video because I thought it was adorable and it, it was a part of my haul. Also, 
This is velvet, so I'm obsessed with it. Let's continue on. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and please do comment. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys, and remember to keep on rocking.